Yo guys, it's your boy Don Longstar with my dad. Yo! And two weeks have already gone down, and you know, they've been hectic. I mean... A lot of spoilers. A lot of... Uh, this year, I think football is very unique. And that's why this week we are going to be predicting week three, which that's what we're going to be doing for the entire season. So what do we stand as of right now in our predictions? Are we both equally tied? And... And we'll also go over a couple of uh, teams that have either, you know, made some progression on 2023, 24, or some teams that we feel like that they're, you know, they're taking a step backwards. So before we go predicting games, um, between my dad and I for week two, we were actually 12 and four. And some games that I did get wrong were the Lions uh, losing to the Falcons. Uh, no, to the Seahawks. Or Seahawks, my fault. Packers were the ones that lost to the Falcons. Falcons, yes, that's right. Uh, one of them was Browns. I picked the Browns, which they lost to the Steelers. And I have, and there was another one that I predicted that I got wrong. But, you know, we're going to get predictions wrong. So It happens. You know, th th this past week was really a stomping ground to show that this league is wide open between teams. You know, ugh. Like, for example, let's take the Jets. Jets week one, yeah, they didn't utilize a lot of points. But, you know, uh, they looked scary, atrocious on their defense. And they looked good on offense. This past week against the Cowboys, the Cowboys really looked scary out there. They really, they, and we'll talk about them uh, here. I'll talk about them here later on. But the Cowboys against the Jets, the, I mean, they just on all ends of the ball between offense and defense were really, really scary. Made the Jets look really bad. But that being said, let's go ahead and kick everything All off. right, so let's start with Giants and 49ers for some Thursday night football. Uh, Giants, th they continue to score literally no points in the, in the first half of the Cardinals game. Not St. Louis Cardinals game, which actually they were eliminated from the playoffs. And my dog is in the background too. And, but the Giants, they overcame a 21-point deficit to beat the Arizona Cardinals 31-28. to Hmm, that almost sounds a little familiar. Okay, maybe not that familiar. But, um, but they do have a tougher task because they are playing the 49ers. And I'm saying the 49ers will take the win. You know, this is a game here that... The Giants have shown flaws, and defensively, the Rams played the 49ers this past week, and it looked like a solid game between, it was an offensive battle between both teams. You know, we've seen the Rams come out at a level this year that, you know, we didn't think compared to what preseason was and everything going from there. Uh, that being said, however, I think the 49ers have the upper hand here. Brock Purdy has done really, really good. I expect this team to go deep. In their uh, th this year, I really do. I expect the 49ers to win against the Giants. All right, so now we got Falcons and Lions, which this should be a close game. I mean, both teams are one and one. Uh, actually, you know what? They're not one and oh, one one. The Falcons are actually two and oh, and the Lions, this is one of the teams that I actually got wrong in the week two prediction. Um, but I'm going to say they're going to rebound and go 2-1, and one, and both teams are going to go 2-1 on the season. I like both teams. I like what they both have. Uh, I was kind of disappointed to see that the Lions lost this past week, but it happens, guys. It's football. You have to have losses to fix out your kinks, know where your, def where your offensive and defensive uh, strengths and weaknesses are. That being said, I expect the Lions to win this game. All right, Chargers and Vikings, both teams are are struggling right now. One's probably not because of Brandon Staley. Um, but the Chargers, they kind of blew another game. I mean, they did. I, I, that's kind of obvious. The Chargers, they're called the Chokers. I kind of already spoiled week two right there in the last video when we did our, you know, when we did our week two per, uh, game predictions. And um, the Vikings, they're on a tough start as well. But I'm going to say... They're going to go 1-2. and two. They're going to get their first win, and the Chargers are going to be 0-3. I just don't trust the Chargers anymore. Here, here's my thing that I go back and forth. I've gone back and forth putting X's by each of these teams, 
recircling and going from there. So I'm giving you guys a real time prediction for this one right here. I don't know where either team are wrong, you know. I, I, I was expecting a different level out of the Chargers this year. I was expecting com competition. Vikings, I expected them to, you know, live up to that standard of what they did last year. And then here they came in the playoffs and show the real Kirk Cousins. And our dog's in the back. And our dog's back. What do you think, Hercules? Hercules, on the other hand, he's a genius. He is through the books on predictions. He has beaten us all with his predictions. He tells no. me to go with the Chargers. I think the Chargers will win this game. He's going for the freaking Chargers. Oh, my goodness. Yep. Saints and Packers. Saints, they're off to a good start. They are. They're 2-0. and Packers, they almost beat the Falcons, but they lost by one point, one point. which happens. Um, but I'm going to say for a Packers rebound here, and the Packers will rebound and go 2-1. Go ahead. I have the Packers winning that game. I think Jordan Love has done pretty good there. And, uh, uh, to start his career, the Jordan Love era, I think he has done a great job so far, so I have them winning. All right. Texans versus Jaguars. Sorry if I keep saying all right, but, you know, it's just me over here. And the Texans, you know, this is this is going to go to the Jaguars. I mean, the Jaguars, they're the better team, so. You, know, you don't think the Texans? No. Okay. Well, here's what I got to say about it. The Jaguars will rebound, get a win. Uh, it, and it wasn't a bad loss that they lost to the Chiefs this past week. From Their defense was great. It was about the offensive struggles. I think they're not going to have a problem. I think they rebound here. They beat the Texans. All right. Broncos. Dolphins. i am got Dolphins. Of course. You know, I mean, they beat, they beat the, they actually beat the Patriots uh, for week two and actually made the Patriots go 0 2 for the first time since 2001. And with that, I got the, I got the Dolphins going uh, 3 0 for the second straight year. You know, I like what the Dolphins are doing right now. Uh, they're, 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 they're playing really good. Uh, a healthy Tua is the key for that offense to keep driving. Tyreek Hill's playing well. Their defense is playing well. The Broncos this past week showed that they can get over that point factor. However, I just don't foresee it being a, a real driver. I think the Dolphins win. All right, moving on to the Titans and Browns. Browns, uh, their one and one happens. Um, Titans, they're one and one as well. So both teams are one and one. But one team has to go two and one. Uh, but the Titans overcame a overtime win. Well, they won in overtime. And, you know, they beat the Chargers, obviously. And the Browns, they lost to, in four points to you know, Cleveland Browns. I got the Titans beating the Cleveland Browns. Kareem Hunt is back with the Browns, guys, after Chubb is actually gone for the year. That's a big blow mm -hmm. for them, you know, running. But Kareem Hunt. He has the skill. He, you know, he knows their playbook and everything. So he should be well adjusted, be able to go come this week. I think being at home is where Deshaun Watson needs to be. This should be a, a an exciting game. I think the Browns have the upper advantage to win. All right, moving on to the Bills versus Commanders. Commanders are actually two and zero. Two and zero, yes. Under and they have a new offensive coordinator, which is the Chiefs old. Offensive coordinator Eric Benemy. Eric Benemy. Yeah, so that 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 hopefully that could do something for the Cal uh, not Cal uh, commanders. commanders, but the Bills though. I mean, they beat a weak team, so um, yeah. But I will think the Bills will take a win over the Commanders in Week Three. You know, Josh Allen had his had a very terrible outing this first week. They looked out of sync, out of tune. This past week, they looked better. I like what I've seen out of the Commanders, and that's going to be a progression game to go. Honestly, I think if, uh, if Rivera is to get fired at any point in time, Eric Benemy is the guy that comes in as a head coach. I think what Eric Benemy has done as of right now, is done. he's done very, very good. Uh, however, I just think the Bills are making those adjustments. I think the Commanders will lose this game, and the Bills will win. Moving down to the 
Colts and Ravens. If I'm on the right game. Uh, Colts and Ravens. I mean, the Colts, they did win last week. And unfortunately, Rutson, whatever that guy's name is, he's he got injured. But the Ravens, though, they're off to a 2-0 start on the year. And again, like I said, they have OBJ. They have Lamar Jackson. They have good guys out there on the field. I'm going to say they're going to go 3-0. Same. 3-0. Uh, all right. Patriots and Jets. Like I said earlier, the Patriots... First 0 and 2 start since 2001, and guess who was under his? Guess who was for year one for that? Oh, for the 2001 season, Mr. Tom Brady, Mr. Tom Brady, and they are playing against the Seahawks. I think this is a game that the Seahawks will take and wait, win. Wait, 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 wait. Back, back. You were talking about the Patriots and Jets. Oh, Patriots and Jets. Right, I went too far ahead of myself. Yeah, I'm starting to lose it here. Jets. Well, he was trying to give a little bit of insight on the next thing that he already has uh, played in there. Look, this is one that I'm hard on because I want to see the Patriots get a win. I want to see that Mac Jones is really their future, you know, that Bill Belichick trusts. But then there's things that remind me of play calling and everything that just isn't going their way right now. There's got to be some hidden spark to get them there. And I think that missing link is the Jets don't have Aaron Rodgers. They're going to, you, you know, one of me, one thing of me wants to say Zach Wilson is the go-to guy. That's your confidence booster. But then something wants me to go back and say, he's not your guy. They need somebody that can take them to another level. So I think the Patriots will get their first win against the Jets. Huh. Okay. Uh, uh -huh. I kind of already spoiled the for this game right here. Uh, Panthers and Seahawks. I spoiled the Seahawks to win already. So you, we can let my dad explain who's going to win that game. I would like to give the optimism to the Panthers. I would like to give optimism. You know, everybody, you could say Indianapolis, with him with Col the Colts, I don't think there was going to be any progression there. Does he is Frank Wright the right guy for the job with the Carolina Panthers? Yeah. I don't know. That being said, I think the Seattle Seahawks will get the win. All right, Bears and Chiefs. It's obvious who's going to win this game. Mahomes and Mahomes. If you lose that game, I don't know what to say to you, but uh, I think this should be a cakewalk for Mahomes. You think everything should be a cakewalk for Mahomes Not everything. and everything. You think everything. Look at okay, and I'm. This is where I'm going to start letting real realistically go on. You said it should have been a cakewalk off camera for the Chiefs to beat the Jaguars. Look what happened. The Chiefs' offense has been anything but admirable. I right mean, to now. admit, the first half of the game, it looked it didn't it look do, good. For even the, the second Chiefs. half didn't look too good for the Chiefs on offense. Defense has kept them where they need to be. My dad thinks Eric Benemy is the reason why the Chiefs' offense sucks this year. You know, uh, Nagy is an offensive coordinator. He's great. But th there's that whole tension that b builds in this year. Now, the Chiefs, have, they're probably going to have to look at getting a uh, look at the, uh, the, the option of a, another couple solid wide receivers because right now their offensive production the t the interceptions things that we're seeing out of Kansas City this defense has played really great oh, their defense has been awesome but their offense has been anything from there and I understand it's early on in the year but these are things that you look at uh that division is probably going to be one of the weakest divisions again this year and the Chiefs need to find a way to capitalize off of that. And this is a great way. I'm not a – I just don't foresee the Bears being anything progressive off of it. Uh, so, therefore – sorry, that is my dog That's moving the camera. Uh, but I want to give that confidence to Justin Fields, but I just don't foresee Justin Fields doing that. So, the Chiefs should win. Moving on to the Cowboys and Cardinals, another obvious pick. It's going to be the Cowboys. I mean, they they have a great defense this year. They have a great defense and offense. Yeah, so that's why I'm saying they're going to start 3-0. and I'm liking what I'm seeing the Cowboys do. You know, I take back the whole Trey Lance thing. I'll admit that. 
that uh, think of that was going to be a distraction. I'm liking what I'm seeing out of them right now. That they are firing on all cylinders. Mike McCarthy is proving people wrong and showing people maybe he was not the problem, and that Kellen Moore might have been the problem. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. I mean, we still have like 16 weeks left to go. Yeah, but but technically 15 games. I have the Cowboys the winning that game. But the Cowboys, I mean, could this year be their year? I mean, I don't want to hype things up or anything, but like, you know. You, you know, laughed I mean. about it. Steelers and Raiders. I mean, the Steelers, they're trying to seek another winning season. I mean, they haven't had a losing season since uh, 2003. Yeah. Uh, but I have the Steelers winning. Again, this is one of those ones I would love to go to the Raiders and one week we see great play, the next week we don't see a great play. Same thing with the Steelers. It's inconsistent. One week it's inconsistent, the next week it's, you know, a better performance. I think the Steelers are going to show that better performance this week, and I think they're going to beat the Raiders. So now we are on, so for the second straight week, there will be two Monday night games, actually. Because the Steelers and Raiders are actually a Sunday night game. So that means we have two more games left, and these are Monday night games. For the first one, we have Eagles and Buccaneers. Buccaneers are actually off to a 2-0 start under Baker Mayfield. Yeah. But it's kind of obvious how the Eagles are a 2-0. And, and I think they'll be the another one of those teams to join the Cowboys and a couple others maybe with a 3-0 and start. Uh, the Eagles haven't played stellar offensively. They have Their games have come down to within how many points? You know, look, uh, we can, we, are the Eagles going to have a repeat of this uh, past season? Probably not, guys. So don't I, don't, I don't foresee it. The Eagles haven't really impressed me as well this year as what they, they, they did last year. And yeah, it's only two games in the year. But let's talk about Baker Mayfield. Is this the spark needed? You know, nobody's, ex I don't think anybody expected but the Buccaneers, but they look pretty to good. To start 2-0? Yeah. I wasn't expecting this either. I don't think a lot of people expected it. I'm liking it for Baker Mayfield. And I'm cheering for Baker Mayfield. He's going to go off to 3-0. and The <laughs> Eagles are going to go 2-1. and Oh, my goodness. I highly doubt that. Okay. That's but, what I'm going to say, Bean Boozle. But, 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 but. We have one more. Rams. Bengals. And for this one, I'm going to predict an upset here. Rams. Beat the Bengals, and the Bengals will start 0-3, and, and they will hit the panic button. And remember, and remember, panic last button. year, last year, the Bengals started 2-0, or, oh well, 0-2, I should reverse that, 0-2, and, and where do they go? To the AFC Championship game last year. So you got to give the Bengals a little chance, but you know what, I ain't having it. I feel like there's something that says, uh, after, even though the Rams beat the Bengals in the Super Bowl, uh... Back in early 2022. I think the Rams are going to beat them again. Uh, let's see here. Rams have showed optimism. You know, some things that we didn't see. Uh, 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 to, to, their preseason looked atrocious. And they didn't lose. And the first two weeks of the season, we've seen some life out of them. The Bengals, on the other hand, Burrow's really just... Not Ben Burrow, and you can say, "Hey, does he have a? Does is there a deeper rooted problem, or is there not a deeper rooted problem? And is there something else going on there where they're not clicking? They have a great team, guys. They have great utilization of the offense and defense, and they're not being able to put those together right now. Well, and they didn't lose that bad to the Ravens, Ravens this past week, but that one against the. Browns, Browns was though, just really that. That, that was just not the Bengals. I expect the, the Bengals fans to be in all you know all out mode this coming up weekend, and I expect I, that crowd is going to be that difference shifter that helps keep the Rams out of this game and out of tune. I think Joe Cool gets the win. I highly doubt that. All right, so now we're going to go over a couple teams here that that. that that made some progress that are actually making progress, progress so far this season or concerns or some teams that are like uh, yeah i don't know 
So my first team I have is the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I mean, the reason why I say that is, you know, they would probably start 2-0, and you know, with Tom Brady. Off of me. With Tom Brady. But under Baker Mayfield, though, this is something else. So, I mean, if they start 3-0, and I mean, what are they doing? I mean, this has been amazing so far for the for Tampa Bay. I mean, even though that one game against the Vikings was so, was a close game. I mean, also keep in mind they played a Bears team too in Week Two. So if they can beat the Eagles in Week Three, though, that could be something else. That 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 means that they can beat a good team. Y- yeah, and you you. you, you... You have to give credit where deserved. I don't think anybody expected them, you know, to start out this way. A lot of people, since it, they did, they lost a lot of players. Uh, and, and, you know, Tom Brady being one of the biggest. But Baker Mayfield goes in there. He's comfortable. They're having fun. They're playing great football. Keep on going out there, showing them every week what you can do and showing why you deserve to be a leader of this team and hopefully this is the start to a good career for him maybe it's something solid that's able to build off and he's able to continue mm-hmm. all right my team that is going into records i only have like four teams but i, I, sp- I split it in a half um for regression i have the los angeles chargers i mean oh and two you're blowing games i mean uh, okay, I'm going to start a little campaign here. Not really, but uh, I want everybody in the comments to spam Fire Brandon Staley. Is he the reason why? He's the reason why they're losing games, I feel like. I I just have that feeling. I don't yes. think I don't think it's Herbert's fault. I think it's Brandon Staley's fault. If they start 0-3, I don't know what to say to he you. He probably is on the hot seat with everything. You know, there's been a lot of judgmental things that he's done. And, you know, Herbert has that chance to be a great QB or to show better. And, unfortunately, that utilization isn't going in. My next one is a four-way tie. Ooh. Between Herbert, Burrow, Allen, and Mahomes. And this is where and, – and, and don't get me wrong. This is week two. We have seen through two weeks of the start of the season – uh, Burrow hasn't played well. Mahomes hasn't played well. Allen hasn't played well. Herbert hasn't played well. Do I expect them to make adjustments as they go along? I do. I, the two QBs I'm less concerned about, or the three QBs I'm less concerned about making it further, is Burrow, Allen, Mahomes. I think they have what it takes to go further. Herbert, on the other hand, is utilized as a very. He has that potential. We need to see that potential somehow, and you know, I. <laughs> Again, I have the Chargers beating the Vikings. I think I see it, but if they don't win this game, there's something else chemically not gelling in that locker room that needs to be looked at. All right, so for some progression, I mean, I could say Ravens. I mean, they've been doing good. Like I said, it I could be the same thing what I could be saying about, you know, they have OBJ, Lamar Jackson, all that stuff. If they, if they could just avoid injuries, they could actually have a good season. Maybe over 10 wins, like last year. My number three. Hey, Cowboys fans, isn't it great to be a Cowboys fan? Isn't it great? I mean, Go, I could have I mean, I put them on my list. They, but... they are, they are filing, firing on all cylinders right now, guys. If I, okay, so if I had to sit down today and say, who do you think has that best chance of being in that Super Bowl? I think the Cowboys have that best chance right now. I think they look like the top contender of anything right now. I think, like, I mean, don't get me wrong. They play the Jets, and they beat, <clears throat> and they won this past week against, uh, they, they beat the Jets, and they beat the Giants. My fault there. But they look like they are hungry for that win. And I just see it going out very, very well. It is a great time to be a Dallas Cowboys fan, and this might be that year. I mean, I mean, I mean to put up a couple more statements about the Cowboys. I mean, they they just look amazing out there. If they start out like four and zero or five and zero, even, I mean, they're going to be the team to watch. They to I, really watch. Well, they're the team to watch already. They're, they're they already great. that. They're already that hot topic, you know, right now. And you know, I mean, I want to see them actually one year in my lifetime or in this decade. I want to see. 
them compete in the NFC Championship game. Is this going to be a year that they'll actually go to the NFC Championship game for once? They might. We'll find out. We'll find out in like, I don't know, 20 weeks or something? 18 weeks? I don't know. Your next one. Your last but one. my last one, which is regression. Uh, um, Odie's uh, got a football that's being deflated and it has Minnesota written all over it. It does. It has Minnesota written all over it, guys. There's the football right there. It's the green yep, football. Yep, it's the green football. It's okay. the green football. Honestly, if I was looking into the green football right now, my fourth one is this football season has been fun so far. We've seen the weaknesses and flaws of teams. And honestly, it's open to anybody's game right now. I don't have one, one team set in stone to who I think would be the best choice to you know, put and say, who do I think is going to go to the Super Bowl? Who do I think is going to make it into the playoffs? I like what everybody's bringing out right now. You know, that ask me in week five or six about that, and I'll start putting that together. But right now it's wide open. We've seen upsets. We've seen, you know, usual things happen and go from there. But right now it's anybody's game to capitalize on. All right. So that will conclude it. For this week's predictions, and I got a special announcement for this yes, we one. we do. For week three, the loser of week three predictions on camera is going to have to eat three Bean Boozled jelly beans at once. Yes, on camera. And, and the winner will decide the flavors. And, we'll, and this is a... This is a thing we're gonna be doing, so we're shaking hands on this. So, and I'm not joking about this. Nope, we got the we got the bean boozled. We, we got them, we got them ready for for after week three. Yes, we so, got them ready. So, uh, with but, that, they'll they'll actually conclude for today's video. But in all seriousness, if you guys want to see more content like this, smash the subscribe button and smash the like button, so you guys don't miss another video. Until then, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.